Scala is high-level programming language that combines object-oriented and functional programming paradigms, and it is designed to be concise, elegant, and efficient language for web development and data processing. In this video, I'm going to talk about introduction to Scala in Microsoft Fabric Notebook, and I'm going to show us how to read data from Fabric Leakhouse Delta table using Scala language for data processing and how we can also perform filters on top of our data. Therefore, let's get started. I'm currently in the app.powerpen.com and of course, I've got this Scala Fabric Notebook with no item created. Now, the first thing I want to do is to click on this new and we want to create a link out. So click on that. I'm going to call this one Scala Data and then click on Create. This is going to open or create our link house. And while that is doing this job, I'm going to come to this Excel file. I'm going to actually work with this sales 2020 that span across five columns. And of course, this data is stored as a comma separated value. So I'm going to come back to the web platform and then we can go on and click on these files, click on this ellipsis to upload files. So there we go. And then I'm going to browse to the location of the file. So double click and then click on upload. And there we go, the data is uploaded to the file. So we can go on and load to a delta table. So I can double click on the files and I'm going to see the sales 2020.cz file. Click on this ellipsis and load to tables and then to a new table. So we're going to maintain the same sales 2020. So go ahead and click on load. All right, sales 2020 is loaded as a delta table. So I can click on that and then see the data preview. So there we go. So we have the five columns, the year, product, units, price, and the sales. Now, we'll go ahead and interrogate this data set in the Fabric Notebook using the Scala. So I'm going to click on this Open New Notebook. All right, so we have the notebook created. Now, by default, the language is going to be PySpark, but we're not focusing on PySpark. We are focusing on Spark Scala. So I'm going to switch to Spark Scala. And of course, I'm going to double click on this link houses and I'm going to be able to see the sales 2020. Now that's absolutely fine. I'm going to come to this code and delete everything. Type in val to create an immutable variable. So I'm going to type in df equals to spark dot table and press the tab key so i want to open and close the brackets so we need to provide the name of the table now this is the convention first we need to provide the name of the link house which is scala data and that's going to be dot sales 2020 inside open and close brackets so double quote and i'm going to type in scala data dot um, sales 2020 and of course this should be fine i can go on and print or show the data frame so press enter df dot show method open and close bracket and then control enter amazing command executed in 21 seconds so there we go so we are able to successfully use scala to read the sales 2020 from our link house which is beautiful so we have the year the product units the price and the sales column what about if we want to actually perform some filtering let's want to filter to see all the products that equals to laptop I'm going to come to the cell below and create a new cell. And I'm going to just call this one um, val. And let's just call this one filter for laptop. So laptop. And okay, laptop. So I'm going to type in equal. Again, I'm going to use df.filter function. So I'm going to call the filter function. And press the tab key. Open and close the brackets. Now, we need to provide the name of the column. So we're going to use the dollar sign. This is actually what is obtainable in Scala. So the dollar sign and inside double quote, I'm going to type the name of the column and I can go on and use the equals, equals, equals three times, not one or two times, but three times. This is what's obtainable in Scala. And then I can specify inside double quote the name of the product. So which is going to be laptop and press enter. So I can go on and copy this and I can Control V to paste and type in the show method and press Control Enter. Amazing. So this worked. Now I'm going to scroll down. So there we go. So we have all the products that equals to laptop, which is super cool. What about if we want to actually filter based on two criteria? This could be product that equals to laptop and desktop. How do we do that? 
I'm going to come to this um, new code cell. I'm going to type in val and let's just call this one uh, multiple products. So multiple products and equals. Again, I can go on and define the df.filter function and open and close the brackets. So again, I'm going to type in dollar sign and inside open double quote i'm going to type in the name of the column and i can use the is in method so i'm going to type in is in this is similar to using the in operator in the power bi so is in and then i can open and close the bracket so i can specify the product so i'm going to type in inside double quote laptop and laptop and i'm going to put in a comma after the double quote and another double quote so let's want to see by desktop so this is going to be fine so basically we're actually filtering the product column that contains laptop and desktop and i can first enter and use this multiple products name control v equal or dot show so we can go ahead and see this result press control enter let me scroll down and there we go so we have all the laptops or the product that equals to laptop and desktop, which is super cool. So now, what about if we want to see this product that contains laptop and desktop with the sales that is greater than or equal to 2,500? Now, I can just copy this whole thing to speed this up. Control C, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to come to a new cell. Control V to paste. And let's just call this one a multiple products greater than or greater than. 2500 so we're going to do greater than or equal to anyway so i can just modify things here now after we've done this i'm going to delete this closing bracket and i'm going to use the ampersand ampersand and then i can specify the name of the next column which is going to be sales so dollar sign sales column so sales and then i can specify the operators the comparative operators so i want to do greater than or equal to 250 zero, zero, and then close the bracket and we can go on and copy uh, this variable so i'm going to paste here and control enter and let's see the final result okay this is going i'm mean, showing an error let's see now in case if you have an error we should be able to debug and see what is going wrong now i think i can see what's going on wrong here now there's a missing dot so there should be dot is in so go ahead and press control enter and that's going to fix that error Let's see the result. There we go. So we have the product that equals to desktop and laptop with sales that is greater than or equal to 2500. So this is basically a quick start or introduction to Scala in Microsoft Fabric Notebook. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.